Hello everyone, Ben Harrison here, the internet's sexiest movie critic, and today I'm just going to explain to you what this channel is going to be very briefly before I get into this film review. So as you know, my channel is called CineStyle. Cinema. Style. Mash them together. You get CineStyle, baby. And what I'm going to basically going to be doing on this channel is I'm going to be talking about fashion and movies. So those two things I'm going to be talking about quite a bit. Probably not nothing else. There might be a mu some kind of music thing later on, but I doubt it. You know, let's get some better lighting in here. Is that better? Yeah, it's a little bit better. Um, yeah, I doubt I'll really talk about music too much. I, it is one of my interests. But um, I was formerly known as the Banana, as you know, uh, I, where I reviewed video games. It came with a freaking 32X with Doom inside of it. Awesome. Ten bucks. I'll buy that all day, any day, all day. That's not really my interest anymore, so I kind of wanted to branch out of that channel and, or, you know, leave that channel and make a new channel and grow a fan base for movies and fashion or whatever, you know? It, it, just because that old fan base I had, I was trying to post movie videos to there, but they didn't do anything because all the movie reviews that I was putting on there, nobody was watching them. Everybody was video game fanatics. So here we go, a new channel, fresh start, Cinna freaking style. So today I thought I would um, kick off this little series where I try to review as many interesting movies from 2016 as I can, because I've seen a lot of movies from then and I'd like to kind of review some that I think are worth reviewing. So today I thought we'd kick off this little mini-series by reviewing one of my favorite films from last year, Jim Jarmusch's Patterson. So I got a screening of Patterson only a couple months ago and I really haven't stopped thinking about it since. Patterson is a very unconventional film. It follows a guy named Patterson, who is a bus driver slash poet in Patterson, New Jersey. The film basically just follows him every single day for seven days as he wakes up, talks to his girlfriend, goes to drive his bus, writes a poem, finishes his bus shift, goes home, takes his dog out for a walk, goes to the bar, and then repeats the exact same thing the next day. Every day he repeats the same process, but he has different encounters, makes different connections, and has different hilarious conversations with people, and so on and so forth. Patterson, to me, was a total breath of fresh air. Hands down, this is one of the most original films of 2016. I was afraid Patterson was going to get boring because, you know, it's a movie about a bus driver doing the exact same thing every day. But to my surprise, Patterson was oddly engaging. I felt so involved with everything that was going on. Patterson is a true celebration of the mundane. A celebration of the everyday man, if you will. And we don't get films like that very often. I'm not going to lie. The trailer to Patterson made it look like a complete snooze fest. And had this not been directed by Jim Jarmusch, the legendary director, and had it not been so critically acclaimed, I probably wouldn't have seen it. But my god, I am glad I did see it. Patterson is a film where not much happens, but that's okay. It's a very real film. Nothing in it ever feels fake or forced. All the comedy in the film comes very naturally, and I guess I forgot to mention how hilarious this film is. Patterson is a comedic gem. I found it hard to keep contained during this movie, and that's hard for a movie to do to me. There were some really great and hilarious scenes in this movie, solely driven by the interactions and conversations these characters had. Another thing to mention is Adam Driver's acting. Out of all the things I've seen him in, this is by far his best performance. When I watched this, I was amazed at his ability and overall range in acting. He went from evil Sith Lord in Star Wars The Force Awakens to innocent poet who drives buses in Patterson. And that's another great thing about this movie, the poetry. I was scared the poetry would be really cheesy, but I didn't once think that. The poetry in this film was actually very well written. But I could pretty much say that about the entire film. Patterson is one of the most well-written movies I've seen in a while. Jarmusch really is a hell of a writer. And I think out of all the films released last year, Patterson might be the biggest snub at the Oscars. It at least deserved a nomination for its screenwriting or directing. Patterson is a great movie. It breaks so many structure conventions of the regular Hollywood film and feels just like a breath of fresh air. It's hilarious, it's got great writing, great characters, nothing ever feels fake, and I tried to think about things that this film did poorly, but unfortunately I failed at doing so. 
I would highly recommend Patterson to you if you want to see a truly original film, and also if you want to see a film that isn't afraid to break Hollywood conventions. I'm going to give Patterson a 9.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed this movie, and I can't wait to watch it again. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Ben Harrison, the Internet's sexiest movie critic, and I will see you later. Ciao.